I just feel like it's been wake up call after wake up call after wake up call packaged into six months. Oh, 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 hey, ah, uh, whoa. Is that the mukbanger? Is that the, <laughs> is that the YouTuber I'm supposed to be? Crazy. I'm, I'm high energy. Everything's so fucking dope all the time. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, <laughs> all right, for real though, my real personality, you guys know it, this is who I am. I just, it gets a little, <laughs> oh, unreal. Okay, <laughs> holy fuck, this online life, this online life. Okay, <laughs> yo, what up? <laughs> Uh, I can't even say it seriously now after trying to be not serious. <laughs> Yo, what up, bro? What is good with y'all? Back with a very different one. Welcome to my upstairs lair of where I live. And I know, I get it. Y'all are frustrated. I want answers. I want to know about you and your life and, you know, all these things. It's coming down the pipe. Just let me operate on my time. I will get to it. I will tell you a lot of things. I'm going to tell you more things in normally you would ever probably get if we just continued the the way that this is but anyways <laughs> so today i found natural light i'm in front of a window i've always wanted a window seat you know what i mean who doesn't want a window seat i've always wanted a window seat in life i've always wanted a window seat when it comes to this food and mukbang game so i have it right now it's what's up and uh it's overcast and overcast is actually kind of the best light secretly so it's a whopper heavy everything of course it's a chicken sandwich the best chicken sandwich on the fast food market heavy everything a poutine of course you got the o-rangs the onion rangs right up front that are going to go in the whopper and we got a cherry coke on the side you guys a cherry coke is something different we also have the coldest water which Yo, just straight up, y'all have been purchasing, and I promise you, it's a sick product. I've been using this on hikes. It's summer now here where I am. Me and my sister have been going out to like the beach and shit, the beach, uh, just hot weather areas and going to the lake, and I've been putting ice in it and putting beverages in it, literally unfazed for an entire day the ice just stays it's crazy it literally blows my mind i'm not i'm actually not even kidding it's like the product itself is so good like it's not even it's crazy it's crazy i started putting it to like its true test it's legit so if you'd like to save 10 percent down below code hoodie 10 percent off your entire order also put yourself in the draw you could get free shit from them that's that's real and also while we're saying i said shit that's the dopest thing about this this brand they don't pigeonhole you like other things YouTube, to be not who you are they just want you to to like know that it's a good product and they let you be you <laughs> there's there's there there are no stipulations with these with with, with this company so i i love this company anyways Let's get into today's meal. Smush, crush, talk, whatever we're going to do. I got so much floating in the head, and then we get it. Okay. All right, so I have a little setting up to do. I know, I've been talking a lot, but if you mess with me for my channel as who I really am, you'll understand that that's what I do. I talk quite a bit, right? And that's what it is over here, and that's what I need. Whoa, 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 This is a virtual insanity. Oh, no, no, I don't go for this bullshit whopper. Okay, so this is a whopper, right? On a non-whopper bun. That is a brioche chicken bun, whatever you want to call it. That is not the traditional Whopper size because look at the patty. The patty never comes out of the bun. Um, initially, I'm pissed, right? That said though, as the type of human that I am, I'm also understanding and I've worked in restaurants. 
they clearly ran out of their bun and they're making do. And I openly accept the challenge of does this burger taste better on this bun? So I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to complain to the manager. I'm not going to go Karen because this is built very well. Whoever put this together, it looks delicious, 100%. And I'm not going to be... Look at that lettuce spread. That lettuce spread is perfecto. So what we're going to do is not freak out. Understand that onion rings need to go on a Whopper, right? How perfect is that? And we're going to test the market. We're going to see if this can be better without sesame seeds and a large bun. Okay, we're gonna remain optimistic. And uh, I think that's a good segue into the world we're living in right now. 2020 has been easily the craziest year ever where nothing is perfect and we need to be adaptable. And uh, this is just like a little microcosm of a macro of life of that everything is in this world that we live in right now is psychopathic pretty much okay and so we pop the top on the poutine see this is why i love natural light i wish i could film in natural light all the time i literally would never film in harsh fake light because natural light gives you the real representation of what is truly happening in these foods all right so we're finally gonna eat after all of that uh we're gonna denature the poutine with a splash of ketchup because that is what is required we're also going to take the top off this drink and we're going to get to the poutine right off top and you know right away i can already tell you that i love these natural light videos This is what I wish my permanent setup was at all times. You can just see the food in all its glory and everything that it's supposed to be, right? Perfect. All right. So yeah, back to my sentiments about 2020. I don't know why I keep showing you, but I just, I want you to know how amazing it is. My whole thing about 2020 is literally we've experienced in six months of the year like lifetimes of problems in six months. Australia was on fire. A pandemic, a disease that's a new disease that's supposed to kill us all or kill a lot of us. Not all, but you know what I mean. Just that whole narrative. And now seeing the racism and oppression and the, and the movement against policing. I don't even know up from down anymore. Okay, we're gonna try this Whopper. Oh my God, you guys, look how good that looks in the natural light. <laughs> With the new bun, okay? It's very, it's obviously different. 
is not the same. Do I welcome the change? I'm not going to say that it's bad, but I'm definitely not going to be able to say that it's better. It is 100% better with its original bun, in its original form, in its original creation. Now, let's talk about... Hide my head so you can get a view on it. Wow, stop searching for me, you fuck. There you go, right there. Look at that. The chicken sandwich. From BK, my friends. This right here. One of the best chicken sandwiches on the market. Mmm. It is so perfect. The bun designed for this chicken sandwich, that's where it works. With that crispy, thin kind of breast, the iceberg lettuce, the mayo. Absolutely dumb. BK, salute to you and your chicken sandwich. You have knocked it out the park. Now we have a cherry Coke. Let me get back to a little bit of business. About the world. We had to commentate on the food. And now we commentate on the world. I'll just say this, 2020 has felt, on one hand, like a bad dream. And on the other hand, something that has been very required. For us as a species, For us as humanity, we as a people, I just feel like it's been wake up call after wake up call after wake up call packaged into six months. I'm legitimately terrified for what the latter half of the year has to offer. But I feel like <clears throat> because of all of this cat catastrophe and upheaval in all aspects, nature, a biological disease, society, it has forced us to really open our eyes. I can't get over how good this looks, so it looks perfect. To become cognizant and conscious and aware um, you know that we need to be better. And I don't know how, and I, I don't have the answers, right? I don't know how it is that we fix everything on mass, but at least to recognize that. We need to accept each other as, as, as just humans first.
and know that we are just the same thing. We're just consciousness in a vessel. I've said it many times. And um, I think that's a start point. And that uh, we all just want the best for ourselves, but we need to look beyond ourselves and, and, and be more collective in that understanding of wanting the best. Because ourselves are each other, right? We are a network of people across the globe. I understand it's going to be difficult. There's so many complexities, there's so much dynamic. You know, different cultural beliefs. religion and just a lot of division there's a lot of division within humanity there's a lot of division but you know i feel as though with all the catastrophe that has occurred it has forced us globally into like a collective consciousness, a collective awakening of like, you know, we got to have each other's backs when it counts and it should always count. You know, we got to come together more. We got to look out for each other more globally and you know, we got to, see each other as equal like and, and rise up together but you know there's complexities and dynamics to it which is the hardest part because it's like if you look at nature right nature is a like if you go out into the woods and you just observe nature or you go into africa and you watch nature lions kill gazelles like are we separate from animals? I don't think so. We're definitely smarter. We're definitely more intelligent. But at the end of the day, are we animals? I mean, studies in biology would say yes, that we are animals by our very nature. But we are just, we're conscious, like, to a higher degree. Um, and therein lies a lot of the issues. is that we do still have this like savage animalistic element to us where it's like killer be killed, survival of the fittest, like it's very food chain. But it's also like social food chain, right? Like those, there's always going to be people who want to win, who want to dominate. And then that goes deeper into the fact that we are, um, as conscious as we are, that we're that we're self conscious, that we we can ask ourselves questions, and outwardly ask questions, and you know develop tools and infrastructure and just build things and all that. Due to that whole arena. What coincides with that is ego and pride. And um, as long as we have ego and pride and like self-importance, right? Being singular, individual, and not feeling collective. Because you can't get everybody to feel collective. You can't micromanage and force every single human to think the way that you think. Greater good, collective, equal for all, better. 
there's always going to be those ego-driven, prideful, I'm better than outliers in the world. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm exempt. I'm, I've certainly exhibited these characteristics. Me just doing YouTube is almost could be argued that I'm kind of like that. But also the reason that I started YouTube and want to do YouTube is to positively affect the emotions of people who feel stressed or lonely or just need like some sort of relief. Like that's why I always got in this, right? Like with the ASMR. Because I was coming from a place of needing... Just needing some sort of a savior in that moment. And I think for a lot of people, that's what these videos do is just, they help. So it's very crazy. But I think we're finally in 2020 with all these catastrophes, like I said earlier, we're entering a time where, or a moment where across the board, because the internet, cell phones and everything the fact that we can just share it out and and so many people can have a voice right so many people can take action and that action can be documented and shared and verified and inspire the rest like before we lived it was like you just heard through mail or whatever these people are riding now it's instantaneous you can see it within seconds of it happening. Upload it, boom, the next place gets it. Let's go. Let's, you know, let's let's end this shit. Like, let's collectively be more, like, we are not going to be led anymore. We, we don't need leaders like that. Like, we aren't sheep. We don't need to be told what to do. We don't need to live under the thumb anymore. We can all do the things that we inherently... Uh, have been given gifts or know how to do or have studied how to do the things that we love to do and we can help each other through that like we don't need to be told this this and this and and to be to be you know just held down and taxed and all these things it's just i think we're just living in that time it's like i feel like 2020 is that year of just like 2020 vision it's showing us the vision of like what is possible like what we've been lacking, what we've been missing, that the old paradigm is dead, right? That, you know, separatism and racism and inequality is like, we can dead it, right? And I hope we can move towards that. But like I said, there's always the other side of the spectrum, the yin and the yang, the one and the zero, the binary of it all. And that's the hard part. To, to, to beat the battle of everything is like, you know, how do we beat the other side of the ego, right? And the pride and the, and, and that separatism and, and, and like, cause those are really things, really hard things to melt from the human across the board. Like you're not, you're never going to get everybody on board. It's just life is too complex. There's too many dynamics. And you're never going to have everybody in the same viewpoint because you have to have, consider age, life experience, what they've been through in their life. All these things are so many factors. It's too many to name. It's just too many to name. But I think we're at least in a position right now with what's happened and what's happening that we are breaking through in a sense to a greater awareness, a greater good, a greater understanding to move, to, to lay a stepping stone, to move